Good morning, everyone. Hello, Jennifer. We are here. We are starting. Uh, we're gonna try to pull this off today. <laughs> How are you doing? Now, guys, we are doing one gift card today, not two. So if you need the link for that, we will post that here, plus the Xbox link. If you guys need those. Do, 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 do. I am kind of awake. Oh, super groggy this morning. She likes them. Uh, the funny thing is, is they the blue and gold actually match our blue and gold uh, blackout curtains that she picked out. So I kind of won the toss up with the bright yellow pillows. <laughs> And the bright yellow shirt. Oh yeah, they're holding strong. They they actually they're great pillows. I mean, the pillowcases are awesome, of course. You know, they are my Yulis. They're awesome pillowcases. And then the inserts just are perfect. So no complaints with those. There. Uh, we're gonna get this rolling in a few minutes. We're gonna let people roll in before we get uh get moving on. As I make sure everything's preset. And golden. We are. Everything looks great. So stream is good. I uh, had a few hiccups with my PC yesterday. So hey, Costi. Uh, my PC was not happy yesterday. <laughs> That's short to say. So I was fighting PCs yesterday. Now, I'm not sure, but I believe Mrs. Dragon Blogger will be joining us. But I know she was still in bed for a while ago. So, guys, of course, we're going to start this off with we are doing a one $5 gift card at the end of this, of course. Plus, we have the Xbox giveaway going on. If you need the links, those are the links there. If you need the code for the Xbox, the code is any of the past three codes, which is either Stone Dragon, Onyx Dragon, or Amber Dragon. So any of those three codes will work for you today, this week. Now, also remember, there's only a couple more days left of that giveaway before we actually draw the winner of that Xbox Series X or $500 gift card. So just remember that, guys. Now, we got some products today, uh, quite a few videos that we're going to be showing you, but it's all products that we've all had hands on here at the team, which is great. So the first product up is the Insignia 42-inch TV. Now, this was covered by Demetrius, so we will play the video for you. Hey, guys, my name is Demetrius, and, and I'm going to be showing up. you guys this Insignia so Fire TV came. that came. Hopefully, you guys can hear it because I can't hear feedback. LED display. It oh, has an HD mic. I ports, guess I had my earbuds. I'll on show me. you later in the video, <laughs> and it's that F twenty series, and it also has that press and ask Alexa feature on there. Really, really awesome TV press so far. Ask. It came in a really solid box. Um, as you can see, so it has hope you guys are top, having a great week so far. And I know mine's been pretty good. The top, as I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna remove all the stuff that came with. It has both feet that sit at the bottom of the TV if you wanted it. And then you have wow. the child safety piece of form. And then you will have next is the I've been having a pretty remote, decent week manual, so far, not complaining, guys. Batteries in there too. Uh, the batteries, if it didn't come with it, the batteries you'll use is a AAA batteries. Best part comes is coming in about 30 days. I have a two week vacation. Look. Uh, I cannot believe it, uh, I'm going to have a full inch, two weeks vacation. LED, <laughs> FHD, F20 series. I'm excited for that. Insignia Fire TV. Rarely do I have a whole two weeks really, off. Really clean look, as you can see. And then it has that energy guide, yellow little sticker on there. Comes in a uh, plastic film all, all around the edges. And here's the back of the Hey, good TV. morning, Evan. How you doing, you buddy? Have all these connectors right here, the HDMIs. And then you have the USB, of course. And then you Yo, have bud. the cable cord. And then on the bottom, you had the, you know, the red, yellow, and white cord at the bottom, which you, you know, hook up that with um, a game system. For your old school Nintendo the cable buddies. Cord. So you can use those four spots right there if you want to put a TV mount on there. 
and it comes with the screws. I can't complain. Right I'm doing all right. And then you have the power connector that came with it. Doing safety. pretty decent. Little power connector thing, and it has a zip lock. No buckets on my uh, floor. Little zip tie connector. <laughs> so with that, uh, so I'm not going to complain there, you know, even though there's still a hole in the in. ceiling. Uh, take the uh, remote out of the plastic, and then uh, you just have a little notch right there on the back where you just slide down on the remote. Uh, so the Xbox giveaway you know, has an option right for off. a code to get extra entries. So with that being the said, the code like is either Stone Dragon, all one software word, software updating, or Onyx Dragon, all one word, or Amber Dragon. And, uh, so you have three code really, words really that you can use this week. So far. And then, boom, there you have it. The Equalizer 2 is displayed on the screen, and really really perfect picture you have all uh, it's not fixed apps right here already we've found the issue and what's Netflix, causing uh, it video you also we've uh fixed and and like you said you can just click that technically we found a way to drain the water the outside my window on your tv because right my now, windows actually can lower from top uh, or bottom you can click so we crack the top of it to we have a hose more. draining out and we and have a catch have up in the more. up in the ceiling. TV, you have they have a contractor have Sling, that Amazon supposedly uh, has been TV, called and contacted. All of these and we are, are waiting really for him to have cool. a free day to come out uh, and actually redo the, the section over the leaky download. roof. So this forty-two inch. You know, hey, progress is progress. I'm good with progress. Netflix Prime Video. If there was no progress, I'd probably be a little aggravated. But I'm golden with progress. And just a little bit and of golden with the shirt. Um, you know, it's a F20 series LED. And it's uh, 21 inches tall right here. And then you got 37.4 inches. So guys, this is a full functioning Fire TV, which means you have every app that you can actually download off the App Store, which is really great. It gives you options to watch most uh, most TV apps or Plex, or all the other cools, you can actually download certain games to play off this. Or if you have Amazon Luna, you can download Amazon Luna, connect up the Amazon Luna controller, and play cloud-based gaming right off this TV. Yeah, they are going to fix it. Uh, there was never no doubt they were going to. It was just taking too long for my liking. But now that everything's moving along, it's, it, it's cool. Uh, you know, I do have vacation coming in like 30 days, so... Will it be fixed uh, when I have vacation? I don't know. Will I have to deal with it during vacation? Possibly. So, and, you know, it's just one of them things that we just will have to deal with as we go with the house. So, not going to complain. Now, that's a nice little TV. Now, we're going to move over to a product that I actually had hands on myself. This is the Wii Max Nova Short Throw Projector. This is a full. 4K movie projector, guys. This is just very, very uh, immaculate projector. I love this projector. I can't wait till I can permanently mount this projector up. Today, we broke out the Wii Max Nova projector. This is a 4K projector, guys. And we're actually going to be playing the Xbox Series hey, X Martin. on here. Good morning. We have, as you guys can see, Biomutant loaded up. The projector is loaded up. And I'll actually back out and kind of show you guys this so you guys can see this. And you guys can see that we're in the projector. It is a smart projector. It is an Android TV, guys. So it does have an Android 9. It has Google Assistant built on. So you guys can literally say, hey, Google, load my Xbox. I uh, try one of the and others. Should Any of them should it, work. But I didn't hold it long enough, of course, you know. That's my bad, but you guys can see it's down Let's there. Let's see if I can pull up the code. And, oh. and copying everything yeah, I that's actually saying, capturing my whole so screen. it is now listening. But what? since I messed One up, sec, we're guys. Back out of yeah. We are going to fix that. That could have been costly. <laughs> that. All right. We're going to click inputs, right? As you guys can see, we have channels, right. HDMI input one, that fixed that. HDMI uh, input two. If HDMI you give me a second, I'll actually get you the codes. All the codes should work. So. And... Do, 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 do. 
And there you go. So, one of those codes should work. I put three All three should visual. technically work. As you see, two automatically reads Xbox. And that's what we're going to play. We're going to click it. We're going to load it up. We're going to play a little bit. As you guys see, get me in the front. And I'll be down in front playing, guys. So if you guys now, the cool thing about we'll this projector is it actually can sit can right this. at the screen. You don't loud. have to have it far back. Literally 13 inches is max distance away from the screen. At 13 inches, you'll have a 150 inch screen, which is just amazing. I had it set about 80 inches or, or you know, for 80 inch TV screen, which now, works see, great for what it is. Screen, but I do have it set up pretty close. And that is because my HDMI cable is rather short, so I didn't have a way. That was a problem. I was using a three foot Can't cord. Can go up to 150 inches, guys. With this screen, and you will be good. So don't worry about that, right? Go back. I do oh, plan on doing some more around. videos of this projector soon, which is going to be fun. Right. Cool. I got all good. No worries about it. Good morning, Busy. How you doing, man? Now, as you guys see, this actually plays pretty good, pretty smooth. How do we say man to everybody? Between the projector and the actual game <laughs> itself. Just in general. Which is cool. Now, I'm going to drop the volume down, guys. We're going to kick the volume way down. We're going to back out. We're going to go into and grab Need for Speed, which is on Cloud Gaming. And then we'll show you guys a little we'll bit of Need for Speed. Top four to this. Let's show you the Need for Speed playing right here. Now, you guys are going to see some fuzziness of now, this, this project of the game. And that is because I was having uh, internet issues, which have been resolved. That's actually because I'm playing off the cloud. So, so and that is another thing. So, like, cloud-based gaming, you will need the internet to make it play smoother. With this projector, though, you have no lag from the, the actual console to the projector. So, don't worry about the lag there. It's just like if you're using cloud-based style games, make sure that your internet can handle the game. This projector, guys, I'm telling you, if you guys are on the market for an actual projector that's in 4K, go with the short throw. I love the option of the short throw because if you guys know how most projectors work, you have to set them far away. And then you always have that maybe somebody walks in front of it. So then you have the shadow walking through the light of the projector. Well, with this one, you don't have that issue because it sits right at the screen. Which is just so amazing to me that they can actually do that with a short throw projector. Good morning, Margaret. So, guys, that is the WeMax Nova. And then I also did the WeMax Vogue. Now, the WeMax Vogue is a little cheaper. It's like $849 right now. But, you know, this one is actually native 1080, but you can do up to 4K scaling. Um, 4K scaling just means you ain't got the full true 4K. But at 1080p, this projector is just as bright as the Wii Max. But, the, you know, the difference is it has to sit farther away. So just know the difference of the projectors. Now we'll kind of show you guys this. And you'll see how bright it is. And this was before Today I had blackout curtains. Today we're of the Wii Max Vogue 100 movie projector. Today we're going to play, be playing the Nintendo Switch. And on both this of these are smart projectors, game. guys. So it does it, have Android 9. Ports, does have ports, full ports, apps. You, you can download Nintendo, apps. You can use all the apps Nintendo you want on these. Already. Or you can so plug and play that, HDMI cables like this. I played some video games. And we're going to show you this. Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we're going to play some... Nintendo and see, if I would have paid attention back then, I would have noticed that my projection actual screen went bad. Not, not my projection. Not super crazy sound, I did not realize it. We're going to give you some Things sound, I don't right? pay attention to. Click continue. We're going to click the Now bridge. I got a new one, though. We are now at the bridge. It's loading. You guys should be able to hear that. I will actually turn it down slightly. You don't really need it that loud. So, as you guys see, it is actually... Marty, thank you for the loading. follow. I've uh, got a quite a bit accomplished on this game. So just like the last one, guys, both are nine, nine Android 9. They both have all the apps. They both have full on screen. They're both so smart projectors. They are just Grab amazing projectors. I think we need like a you guys, so see the coloration is great. I mean, this was done during day the without daylight uh, the blackout curtains. The now that I have blackout curtains, we're going to be redoing a lot of videos. Have some fun. We're gonna grab the royal broadsword, right? Oh, jump off the cliff, man! Show them what you're made of. 
I love these projectors. I actually down. kept but both of them. Since we're down here. Sometimes right. I give stuff away or I help people out. These two projectors I kept. I see the gameplay is smooth on here. It looks great. I have no problems with this. So that is the WeMax Vogue, guys. If you have any questions about the past two projectors, please ask. I will try to answer as much as I can or as much as I you know, possibly can with top of my head and not having it plugged in. But you guys have multiple uh, choices. You, they do have USB plugs. They do have SD card plugs for micro SD cards. They do have the HDMI ports. They have it all, and they are wireless. Or you guys, if you don't want to use the Wi-Fi like I did, you can actually run an RJ45 to these, and you can plug them in with Ethernet, which makes the 9.5 or the 9.0 Android faster. Just remember, there's always a limitation to the Wi-Fi signal off projectors. I think they cap it like 100 megs. But if you plug it to RJ45, guys, you're going to have uh, uh, more capability, faster speeds with these projectors so hopefully everybody understood that and got it now we're going to be moving over to the arrow ferro laser engraver now i believe merle did this for us we will show this off all right so the first thing i did is i went ahead and installed it i want to go back grbl software you can find that on the ortho website as well itself Got everything hooked up to my Check computer. The drive is pre-installed, which is great. Now I'm going to work on getting my first I focus think button. So. so, as always, when you're messing with the laser, please wear some sort of eye protection. I have easily. I was checking for codes, guys. For it. Now, this does have a hundred and five dollar clippable coupon, guys. I hope so. so, if you clip this, now, this drops us down to like a one, one eighty, one ninety. I think and so like $190 for a laser uh, laser for engraver is just a cool deal point to narrow this down to so that's pretty big there and this is kind of where the art comes in more so than you have a bunch so of new product lane here guys to have that done later there gonna have some so fun with that and including the new Skull Candy Crusher wireless headset, guys. And set it for the whole board just because I have it. Why not? Let's go ahead and get this set up. And I'm going to get that file prepped and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got that set up. This is just a piece of scrap wood I have people, around. People texting, man. I forgot to shut my ring off. Frame button, which should show me my Yeah, remember, color. guys, since this is a laser engraver, it will burn. You will smell smoke, so use it in an open ventilated area. Right. Make sure that your fire alarms will not go off during use of these products. So that is one tip I'm going to tell you. Since they are a laser style, it does burn or etch into the wood. And now I just need to get this uh, started, which is <coughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and send the file to the engraver, send the machine. And this thing should have started. And now we're working with laser. So I did not realize that this Super one was actually doesn't have an actual base or anything. It just sits right on the wood. Smoke coming off of it. All right, this whole thing is estimated to take a about uh, 45 minutes. So I'll be back. But you're not going to have to watch all 45 minutes. All right, so it's been about a minute, two minutes, give or take, and you can start to see some of the detail there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the camera out of here and 
come down here. Down First, forward a little, right? There. So now you guys are and seeing this, this is as it's finished product. Now the one thing is, is, is with the adjustments, you can actually make the grayscale or the lighting um, pop a lot more. He was just learning this, so you're gonna see that it's the like the pieces and stuff are still a little dark for what you would like. Which again is my novice hand not knowing how powerful to make a uh, laser. They. But you can see the parts that did come out came out with really high detail, despite my uh, less than stellar effort. <laughs> and the uh, worked out pretty. Very cool laser engraver for uh, if you guys needed one. Now, if not, we're gonna move over to the Holy Stone H710 drone with camera. Now, this is a 4K drone with GPS. It is a foldable drone. It is a 5G quadcopter. Now, if you have never seen uh, Holy Stone's products, we love them. This one actually flies with Ophelia Go, which is a very cool app, and you can actually learn to fly with the app. The app will teach you. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel hey, look, Dragon Tater Ball, Nate. Entertainment. Tater Nate I'm is talking to, to us. showcase to you the HS710 drone from Holy Stone. This thing has a lot of awesome features. Let's go ahead and jump in and get right into it. So the HS710 is a foldable compact drone. As you can see here, it is very easy to set up out of the box. All you have to do is just unfold these arms and you're ready to move on. Now the camera on the HS710 is right here on the bottom and it has a 4K sensor on it. So you can definitely capture great footage. Now the HS710 is a quad capter, so that means it has four motors and each motor has two blades on it. Don't worry about destroying these, they send you extras. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hand controller. Up here on top, you're going to have your foldable antennas. On the bottom, you're going to have some grips that also fold now, out. Now, also so you can another hold cool it thing is, is they are on brushless the motors, here, you have which means they won't that will allow you to control much. it going up and down, take, left uh, and right. More of abuse. And on the front you can actually is also go where you're going to have other controls motor. such as launching and, and landing and return. You know, a lot feature. better on the top of the hand controller, you're going to have this little indention right here. So what you want to do is just pull that out. And when you pull that out, you might see that it needs to come out just a little bit more and it'll have this little fold down clip this is where you're going to insert your phone and the hs710 comes with two batteries when fully charged will give you 25 minutes of flight time each inserting the battery is very easy simply just slide it into the back make sure it clicks and you're good to go so what you want to do now for the setup is you want to download ophelia go which is the app that is going to allow you to control and live view the drone footage in real time so once you go ahead and get that installed It'll walk you through all of the steps and the processes on how to get that set up. It's super simple. Just follow the prompts and it'll tell you everything that you need to do to get this thing going. So once you've gotten this thing all the way set up and you have the drone on, you will see a little green status bar indicator and that means we're ready to fly. So now all we need to do is just find a decently level surface to set the drone down on, which we're doing right here. As you can see, I just set it here in my grass. Don't worry about setting it there. It'll be just fine. And then what you want to do is there's a little unlock button right here. You click that and that'll start the blades and then you hit launch. And then once you do that, as you see here, I'm going to get my drones in there and I hit the launch button and it takes hey, off. Nate, your video so now let's go a ahead fuzzy and look at some footage recorded directly to there my phone. Go. So you guys might notice it seems a little bit quiet. That's because this drone does not have a built-in microphone. And even if it did, all you would really hear are the blades whishing around. It's not a very pleasant sound, so I understand why they didn't put it in here. Now, the 4K camera on this drone does a pretty good job of picking up all of the details of the surrounding houses. So that is the Holy Stone HS710 4K foldable drone, guys. A great beginner's drone, you guys, if the app teaches you a lot. I mean, I actually have the app on my phone for my drones. And now we'll kind of pop it over real quick. So, like, literally, it has a guidance book. If you guys need it, it'll teach you how to, uh, you know, flight record, tutorials, all of that cool stuff if you need those. If not, you enter the, into the device. The device will say, I am not connected, right? So I'm not connected to my device. But in here, it will give you all the settings, all the indicators, and all that cool stuff like beginner uh, beginner mode. Since it is set already to pre-beginner mode, you can shut the beginner mode off if you are a better flyer. I love that it gives you a beginner mode. Then it has sensor status, which helps you set up 
And let me actually switch cameras a little bit. Let's go over to this one so you guys can see this one. So that will help you readjust the drone and all that cool stuff. And then you have the camera size where you can actually do 2.5K or 4K. You know, it lets you change it, lets you format the cameras. Then if we back out, it gives you all these options. Like if you hit this Google map, you will actually see my kind of my address. But this will let you do like pinpoint um, flight. So you can like set up little points of interest that you want it to fly to and fly around and then back. Now, that is a actually really cool option to have and allow you to do that. But it also gives you like um, one touch takeoff, one touch uh, flight. I mean, literally, you can fly the drone straight from this, the phone and not have the controller. Now, I do suggest the controller, but then if you want, hit the four squares and you have uh, follow me mode, you have circle uh, interest, and you have, I believe, headless mode. Now, also, you can connect this up to a VR goggle, and you can fly this with the VR goggles also. So, a full functioning app for a great drones. Any questions, please ask, and we will answer. If not, we're going to move over to another product that I really love, and that is Govi. If you guys have been around here before, we love some Govi products. Hi, now, this everyone. is the Govi Corner Thanks Floor Lamp. And today, we're going to be checking out the Gobi Lira floor lamp. Now, this particular lamp is going to be the H6076 model. It's a 24 watt lamp, as well um, as using. Oh, hey, that lamp volt. actually uses the Gobi rope. When you, I did not realize they used the rope in this one. The box, it's going to come just like this. It shows you basically on the top how high it'll sit in comparison to some furniture. The lamp boasts several features such as multiple colors, you have smart voice control, light scheduling, app control, music mode, as well as multiple scene modes. It is compatible with Google the Govi Home app, guys. You really want the Govi Home app for the Govi products. You don't need it, but I'm telling you, if you have the app, Once you so have, much more control. Up, it can control every Govi product that they make, including their kitchen pieces, and home and devices, you'll have the all on one app. Adapter, power adapter there. Then you'll have the base along with the switch. The base itself is roughly about eight inches so definitely very much space saving as well you have the lighting source as well as several pieces where you will need to be able to assemble for the lamp to work properly. Everything is included, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, once the lamp is oh, the fully weather assembled, has changed. It's I going love it. to sit nice, roughly sunny, at about not windy today. Four feet seven inches, which is decent. Four a pop four right here, guys. This is it lit up stand with the app kind of being shown. Four feet, seven inches or so. So it does have a decent height to it. But once you have selected a place that you would like to have it, after you've assembled everything, you can utilize the app. And that's where you'll be able to adjust various colors of yeah it's actually a really really nice day today i agree light to be i'm very happy with there the weather are hoping it lasts for the weekend options i plan on making some pulled pork sunday <laughs> that you could definitely play around with which is very neat i would like a nice the smooth weekend i'm telling you app definitely does a really good job of allowing you to adjust the 
brightness. You can even have So very... that is the Gobi RGB IC uh, corner floor lamp, guys. Now we can pop over to the scene. I can actually show you guys the app itself. The app is actually really cool. The app, you can actually connect multiple devices, guys, like the meat thermometer. Uh, I have my car lighting. I have my house lighting. Or you can add more if you click the plus up here. This gives you an option of all of the indications of all the devices that they have. Now, it's a full-on thing. I mean, if I keep scrolling, it'll keep having more and more and more and more devices. They make many devices, so that's just lighting. But if I go over to, like, home devices, they have all kinds of devices also. Now, if you go back and you click, actually, let's click in and see if I can connect in. May not be able to connect in. I don't think I have anything powered up. But that is where you'll actually be able to set up all the lighting, which is actually really great. I love the 64 scenes, plus you can make your own scenes. Can't wait for spring cleaning my garage. I wish I had a garage. Uh, fourth floor apartment, no garage. But Govi, guys, an excellent, excellent product. Now we're going to move over to the EF Echoflow River Mini. Uh, is this the Mini? I need to make sure. I believe this is, no, this is the EF, EF Echoflow River. Now this is actually... The full device now since i actually moved my chat i gotta fix that and pull up the the video hey what is and going on guys it my is, is tater Victor nate dragon blogger tech once and again and today i am super excited to showcase to you guys the eco flow river portable power station this thing is an absolute beast of a machine so let's go ahead and jump right in and get in today's video like I said, the EcoFlow River is an absolute machine. Let's go ahead. And Highly and suggest if you it. guys live in an area that has lots of power outages, one of these machines would be USB great, including it with the next fast. product that we will be showing, the, right side, the solar panels. Now, the solar panels would be great if you have an area that won't have power for a while and you need to get uh, charged back into this. The solar panels will actually do that. You're also in the front going to have a 12-volt AC outlet. Which will allow Just don't lick that, guys. Car don't lick the outlet. Device. Another awesome feature about this. Is I mean, I guess if you want to, but I don't suggest it. Brightness settings, just a standard brightness and max brightness, and then it will also emit SOS and Morse code. Hey, good morning, Ali. A super awesome built-in feature that they didn't have to add, but they went ahead and did it anyways. All right, guys. So we went ahead and gave you a brief rundown of the EcoFlow River portable power station. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more detailed for those of you that are interested. So here in the front, you have your simple LED screen that will tell you the amount of hours that you have charging, and it will reflect on based on what you're charging. So right now, nothing's plugged in. This thing says it's good for 99 hours. If we turn it on to the lowest brightness setting, you see here that we have 79 hours left on 29% charge. If we switch it to That's the, with the lighting, buddy. Setting, you're going to see with that the we have 26 If the device takes more power, it will drop so down that time. Flashlight time. And then if Just we remember that. So West setting, you're going to see here that we have 40 hours on 29%, which is an absolute freaking beast of a time frame that you have. You can see here it's outputting at two watts, so very low wattage output. If we turn that off, we jump. Yeah. Also remember, he only has this charged to 29%. Here in the front, if he like fully said, charged it, it would USB go a lot farther. Two USB A's and then a USB 3.0 fast charge. Here in the front, you are going to have your other two connections for A, or I mean, sorry, DC power. In order to have that enabled, you have to power it on, and it reflects here on the screen telling you that that is enabled. So we'll go ahead and turn that back off, and we I will jump take car. this around wow. to this side. So you have your three AC plugins right here. In order to enable those, you have to have this little power switch on. So you can so power appliances, including a fridge, guys. A mini fridge, but you could do it. Currently emitting at 60 watts power, which is absolutely freaking insane for something that you can simply just carry around in your hand. When we turn that off, that little symbol went away. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to the back side over here, opposite of the AC controllers. We're going to go ahead and zoom in, get it focused, and as you can see right here, we have all of the different charging options as well as an outtake vent because this thing does run pretty warm, so I would definitely keep that in a nice ventilated area. 
you're going to have your 100 to 120 VAC, 50 hertz to 60 hertz only. You're going to have your reset button if anything goes wrong. And then you're going to have your 12 amp charger right here on the left side and a screw to access that panel if need be. On the back here, you're going to notice that there is nothing here. Just the logo. It's just a nice little design on the back with that nice EF EcoFlow symbol and as well as a two-tone, which is kind of a black and lighter black design. Super clean design in my opinion. I really like what they did with it here on the back, so kudos to you guys. We're going to do a little quick test charge with my iPhone. It's at, at about 50%, so we're going to go ahead and Now these do have apps PC also, guys, which is crazy. To see how long it takes to charge my iPhone and how much we have left on the power station. But while we're waiting for that, let's go over everything that comes with this. So you're going to get a DC charging cable that will allow you to connect solar panels that are sold separately if you're interested in that. And that we're is the next product that we will be showing. We're have a DC power outlet to charge this unit with your vehicle, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to here. We're also going to have more DC connectors that will just further allow you to charge multiple and different things. You're going to have your standard the house AC plug. charger as well, so you can plug this in straight into a just wall don't chew on the cord, or a guys. power strip or anything like that. And then taking a look right here, we're going to have instructions for how to connect the solar panels if that is an option you went with. And then we are also going to have the EcoFlow user manual that will help you out if you're having any issues. Also, while my phone is charging, let's and go there ahead is the and app. check out the app. So we got it connected already, connected to Wi-Fi. Just blown away. It actually has an app a ton of features. You to tell you what it's using. So if you have a power outage, go ahead and use your phone to read the app um, for the device. The output currently is at 13 watts, which is really awesome. If you had something connected to the AC output, you could see the power levels to that. You have options to turn on and off the light. You have options to turn on and off the 12 volt DC power. And you also have a little quick view of all the USB charging ports right here. So there's definitely a lot of options inside of the app. Taking a look here, you can rename the current model that you're working with. You can see charge level. You can see your DC mode, AC mode. So a very cool product if you guys need the power. Now we're going to show you guys the next product. The next product is actually the 60 watt foldable solar panels. Now these solar panels will actually work with the last product that we showed you, the EF Echo Flow. Now this will actually get, they are waterproof. So don't worry about that. They do fold up into a carrying case. They are a nice little thing that will actually work great to charge this device if you guys are going to be without power for a while. Now, another cool thing is, is you could take this device camping with you, then hook up these solar panels that we're showing you right now and have a charging station for, let's say, um, you want to have a plugged in uh, cooler to keep your food uh, cooler longer because they do make coolers like that. Or let's say you guys just want like, oh, well, hey, I'm camping and I want to charge my phone just in case or I want to charge flashlights or stuff like that. This is actually a really great option. Now we're showing you the 60 watt solar panel. They do make a 110 watt solar panel and a 160 watt solar panel. So all in all, a great little set of products if you need them. Now we're going to move over to the Linen or Linen four by six photo printer. I did this. Now we're going to kind of talk about this, and then we're going to jump forward because this just does four by six photos. But with the way it does it, it does it in four paths. Red, blue, uh, red, green, and blue, and then a clear coat, and it goes back and forth. Now, they claim this is an ultra-small printer, and it is super small, but the way it prints, it does have to have a space for the paper in the front, and it has to have space for the paper in the back. And since it is a 4 by 6 paper, it has to go back and forth, back and forth. You will need space behind it and in front of it. Now, it is completely wireless. You don't need cables to connect into this. You can literally just print straight from your phone onto this device. James here with now, I'm just going to hop here. forward and kind of show you guys this. Now, Take a do? photo, we show you the picture, print. and we the try to print this, available. show you guys all this well, we on know the printer. It is. We just got to switch the printer. Now that it's open, we click print. And it and will start it printing. Job. Okay, like I said, we just got to wait for it to print. Just wait for it to work. It does take a little bit, guys. Here we go. And now we're printing. But how well does it print? Now, just remember, guys, you're going to need a space in the back because in the back... 
Now, this is what I was talking about. It goes back and it's forth, back and time, forth. So, let me flip it around kind the of footprint so becomes like the size of a normal working. printer at by the time you you're done. Both angles. It'll come in and out of the back, guys. But it is portable, and so you can actually carry this color. one around with you in a backpack so if you just like need photos. You know, just fully just remember, it will not do full sheets of paper, layers. just four by six photos. We should be almost in color now. And one more time to clear. These guys watching it pop back and forth. So just remember, you're going to need space behind you, space in front of you. So six inch printer turns into 13, 14 inches of space you need. Just remember that. So we took the printer. It actually prints done. pretty good pictures. There's the photo. <laughs> so that is just a normal photo. Of so that is the lean, lean 4x6 printer, guys. Now we're gonna move over to the JBL clip and Nikita did this video for us. So we will show you guys this. So this is my little JBL Well, I'll clip take a sip of water for him. I just unboxed <laughs> it and connected it to my phone. So I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how it works and everything. It's just really super simple. I like to listen to music while I shower. And so this is gonna be a nice little thing that I can clip onto my shower stand and use. It is waterproof. Um, it, it says that on the casing for it that it is IP67 waterproof and dustproof and has up to 10 hours of playtime. Um, it's really easy to use. As you can see, this little light is on and not flashing, so that's how you know it's connected. It has two buttons right here that you can kind of see. This is the power button. You just hold it for a little bit to turn it on, and then if you want to connect it to a Bluetooth, you just hold this for about two seconds, and then you're good. As you can see on the front, it has some controls for Rosie. play, increase volume, and decrease good morning. volume. I'm going to play some music here from my phone so you guys can hear how it sounds so just automatically you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and raise the volume sorry about that why did I pause that nice and then lower the volume also and then um, I can also just hit this button and stop it That's so, why I can't hear it. as you can see it's a really nice little speaker it does have a good amount of volume and bass to it and it's just really nice overall to use so if you're looking for a nice little speaker that fits those you. needs definitely check this one out or if you need music in the shower it is waterproof they give you the option now we're going to be moving over to the Rhinefo eye massager now Nikita also did this video for us this is actually a great little product Justin had one and his dog ate it Okay, so I'm going to adjust it because I kind of have a big old head. So You're a see. big old head. Pretty sure it's all hair. So it's kind of inflating. Oh, my God. <laughs> so it inflates and then it depresses. Oh, wait, this is so cool. Okay, so it inflates. And then it like releases the um the air out of them. Well, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it up here for right now before I start it. And then I'm gonna play a song. Do I have it on? Oh, the volume. That's why. Okay, it's at maximum volume. Okay. Oh my God, the warm. Oh, it feels so warm. <laughs> and I can hear my music too. Oh, I'm gonna change the mode. Okay, this is vibration only. Oh, it's doing like short bursts. Boom, 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 boom. How I feel about that. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, so this is air pressure. Okay, I don't even so like my CPAP like, like, CPAP oh, machine. It fills up on the sides. And then it releases, and then it fills up in the front, and then it releases. Oh, and there's heat. Yo, this feels so good. So that's the Rhinefo Eye Massager with heat. If you guys need a massager, that's a really good idea for if you have headaches. Now we're going to be moving over to the High Life. I believe that's what it is, the High Life Steamer. Now I believe Nikita also did this. While we watch this video, so I'm going to crack my window bit. open more. It's yeah, actually starting to get warm in here. Out a good bit of steam right now. It takes absolutely no time to get going. It makes a, a little bit of Let's get the wind going. going. But once it gets to going, it really starts going. So I'm going to start steaming this 
white shirt that I have here. And I'm just going They're both to good. Justin sure also had the Rimfo one, one, and I believe the Rimfo one, one is the one his dog it chewed apart. It is a steamer, uh, I could be wrong. It could have been the sun come. But they're both good eye massages. The one Nikita had actually had Bluetooth for your phone, as in where the one Justin had only did sounds. So, if you want one with phone, Nikita had the one that where you can actually play your own music into it. Kind of steaming it. I need to get the shirt open a little bit at the bottom. There we go. Just kind of go up and down, push the steam on it, and it is hot. No problem. But it takes absolutely no Yeah, they're time both to great eye massagers. You just got to be patient with it. I prefer this over eye I don't know how I personally could do it. I, I just, the shirt having things really over my well face is just, uh, you know, one of those things I don't like. Right Even riding motorcycles and stuff, I hated really full nice mask. I can typically be a little lazy. And not want to iron my clothes and my family gets on me all the time and just having this is super easy it doesn't take long at all to get the water heated i put the water in now a good thing about these steamers is they work great for like steaming like uh sheer garments or if you guys need to like get wrinkles out of your curtains or maybe a tablecloth or uh you know a quick dress that you're going out to dinner and you don't want to throw it in the dryer the steamer can actually do that and help you out de-wrinkling it as you guys see, it's a nice little product. I did not realize the video was dark that whole time, and I'm not sure why. But nice little product, and it does get up to steam very, very fast. Now we're going to pop over to the Humix Crystal Clear uh, case for the Galaxy S22, and I know Justin did this one for us. Wow, the S22 looks so much different than the S21. Got two extra cameras. This is a transparent, very flexible clear case that's well Wow, that actually bent really soft. easy. It's malleable, it will not yellow, and it offers some protection for your Samsung Galaxy S22. All you have to do is slide your phone into the case, snap it all into place, you have access to your buttons, very easily. Boy, throw that on the ground. You see, it's I just want to see a little bit of fall. thickness and extra protective cushion, but it doesn't add that much, so it still fits inside your pocket or wherever you need to slide your phone. It has the raised bumpers here, so that way your camera lenses do not scratch the surface or touch the desk when you set your phone on its back. And you can see how nicely it fits and conforms to the top of the phone here and the sides. And it gives you easy access to everything. Now, the case itself is non-skid, so it's really nice. It's nice and textured, so it's non-skid. Um, let me see if it does some fingerprints. Uh, it shows fingerprints, but not so bad, especially when you have the white back phone you can't really see the fingers yeah. through the case but i really like it but it my yeah my case is dirty the white phone versus the black <laughs> back case of the phone this is the hummocks clear case and it is protective although it's not overly thick you can see it is really thin now but guys that case will also allow wireless charging so it since it's so thin it will allow you to charge wirelessly now if you are worried about like an edge cracking or something maybe go with a different case but this one will offer enough protection and at the price it's actually pretty cheap now we're going to move over to the sojo retros these are retro sunglasses and I am not actually sure who did this video. Oh, Justin did. So these have very, very dark plastic frames. Just don't play poker with them on. And you guys will see that it'll actually reflect your hand. So don't be gambling with those glasses. Here. Also, I have a very high front-facing light. So my LED panel light's really, really bright in my eyes right now. But you can see the way these look. And I don't know if you like them or not, but this is the way these look on me. So do these look... They have these weird little kind of designs in the front of them. They have these kind of like little metal looking or uh, plastic looking dot and a little like dash different. which is just kind of like a unique style a little difference here so these are actually better at light blocking at least because they're darker the lenses these actually did my led light my face a little more than the polarized ones did which you think the polarized ones would be better at blocking the light but these actually dim my led light shining my eyes a little more so these are actually pretty good um i like the way they look the frames are much thicker and heavier. I can definitely feel the frames more around my face. So the other one is lighter frames, and the metal um, frames are much lighter. So these I feel a little more. But they're comfortable on my nose bridge. I don't really feel any any kind of like 
any stress on my nose bridge. Well, I don't wear my glasses. I mean, what? So that's the Sojo's, guys. Now we're going to be moving on to the, uh, what is this? The Hohim Gimbal. Now, usually I'll show the product of the video. We're going to actually go over to the product page because I believe that we're showing the gimbal stabilizer. I'm going to show you guys this. This is actually a foam gimbal stabilizer, which is a really cool product. I highly recommend the Hohams. They work great. Now, this does have self-tracking. So if you connect the app, it will actually track you and move with you. If you don't want to do that, you just use all the controllers and buttons. Another cool thing is you can actually use it as a battery to charge your phone while you're doing like um, still shots or multiple exposures, or let's say you're doing a time lapse. You can actually plug your phone into this to give it more time. That also comes with a little tripod. Now, I'm not sure this one comes with the little controller. I can't remember. I know mine comes with the controller. So that might be a couple options, but a different option. Does have the 270 degree to 180 degree uh, gimbal changing. Connects pretty much any any phone guide will, will fit this product, so do not worry there. Does have the 2000 milliamp battery, which is actually great. The 3.0 anti-shaking uh, algorithm once you built in the app. So a very cool product. I have like, I believe three or four of their products. I really recommend the Hohams. Great, great products. If you have any questions about the Hohams, please ask. Also guys, remember to enter the Xbox giveaway. This is like literally the last two days to get in on that. Also, we're doing a $5 gift card today. Just a single one today, but we are doing one. If you want to enter, there are the links. Now, the Hoham actually has a $10 clippable coupon. I did not realize when I said that. Hey, Rising. How you doing, Tina? Now, we're going to be moving over to uh, Mrs. Dragon Blogger video. This is from iColorful. This is their flash. Facial cleansing brush. This is the 7-in-1 beauty care okay. massager for your thing. face. And what I like about this is it comes with seven How's your functional day going? massaging heads. So that's pretty cool. You can exfoliate, polish, massage. Now these beads move so they glide over your, your skin. Um, you have... The little grinder here. Parent, parent life. You know, if you're someone. Uh, uh, my kid uh, is like 20, so I'm not sure. Is. Do we hang in the whole way? <laughs> oily skin. You know, it's real. I jumped off the bridge halfway through. <laughs> so this is the pump uh, stone. Real easy. It takes two AA batteries. And it's got high, low. So that's pretty cool. And it's very easy to change these heads. Just click, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'll tell you. Yeah, exactly oh yeah, I feel for you are. then. Totally feel um, for you. <laughs> it comes with a, a crude polish to kind of soften, you know, some of the tough skin and, and get all those dead skin cells off. And just then it has a cool just polish. cherish the moments though, because they grow and so fast, it's crazy. Dirt. You know, they go from and little kids that want to be around stuff. mom and dad all the time to and you don't so know like, who they are anymore. The kind of foam that <laughs> make up uh, wedges. So, and then it has a stainless steel massager, these roll balls. And these are good for um, head, neck, face. Make sure I'm showing all these. And then um, it has the short brush uh, to clear up all the, you know, stuff that you're trying to get off your face. And then it has a long ultra fine brush, which is to kind of exfoliate the skin. And then the pumice. A facial scrubbing brush, guys, if you need one. Now, like the, the metal balls you can put use to put on your nightly serums and stuff like that. It's what my wife uses them for. Uh, I stole her other one and took the pumice stone for my feet. Don't tell her. <laughs> but a nice little product. iColorFill makes some decent products. And for the price range, you can't complain. 
Now, guys, we're going to be moving over to the Rimfo body scale. Now, I believe Mrs. Dragon Blogger and her mother did this video. Today, we're looking at the Renfo body composition scale. This does have Bluetooth capability. I'm not sure why so somebody sure would just ask me that, but hey, cool. On how to pair it with your device. <laughs> this does take three triple A's, and those are inserted on the bottom. You want to put your scale and use it in a flat and stable location. Carpeting is really not meant for that. Also, you can download the app for your smartphone. And that's the app's really cool because it keeps track of your daily weight loss. So it'll keep track you of your app, body fat index and, and all of the other stuff. It'll actually device. help you with a now, lot of stuff. we're going to show you how to recalibrate this. Just tap the sides. If the scale has tell the pup to get, get out of the way. Up, or turned well, Popo down, wants to be in the video. Have to recalibrate this. It's like, why is everybody in the results. bathroom, guys? What you want to do is first place your scale in a firm and flat, stable location. Also, somewhere that's dry. What we're going to do is we're going to put one foot on the scale to wake it up. And then we're going to wait until it zeroes out. And then she is going to get on the scale. So it'll count down a bit, and then once it blinks, you'll see what the final number is. So once you do that and calibrate it, you won't have to recalibrate it unless you move the scale. So all in all, the Renfo body composition scale. Kilograms, is yes, you can switch it over to kilograms. Does pounds or kilograms, yes, they are switchable in the app. I believe there's even a switch on the bottom. I have multiple of these in the house. Now we're going to be moving over to the very cool Trippy Mushroom t Tapestry. Justin did this for us. I actually love this thing. This thing is very, very cool. I'm here showcasing this bony, bony mushroom tapestry that has moons and stars, a snail. It's actually called the Trippy Mushroom Tapestry just by how it's kind of like psychedelic looking. The mushroom reminds like me of the one off the never ending story. It's kind of like got these the snail. Coming up. Reminds me of the like one off the never ending story. Vibe, but there's mushrooms and then there's snails and there's. Now these space, are really moon, super light, man. You can hang these like with anything. Mushrooms, but we'll go ahead and hang it on the wall and show how it looks. So it really is nice. It's fairly thin material, very, very thin. So it should be really easy to hang up. I wish it was woven. So here's how I actually like that it's a polyester, not woven. Double sided sticky tape in the four corners to hang it up. Obviously, my daughter has a one by this company in her bedroom, and it's actually really, really nice. I really like the design of it. If you're into really, really light too, it's it's really crazy. Mollusks and mushrooms. Oh, you just want kind of like a really unique tapestry hanging up on your wall this one is really unique i really like the artwork on it i particularly like the snails crawling on the mushroom caps and i like the moon in the top left and the snails in the grass it's just really really unique and different and could be good for a gaming imagine the weight of a woman though. so this is what it looks like so yeah it, it's just like a printed on picture but really nice product they're actually really good that even the outline stitchings is nice you can hang it up. He did 3M adhesive tape. I did actually like push pins. And we did like these uh, like little star push pins or moon shaped push pins. And they look really great. Now, the one my daughter has, if you put a black light to it, it actually glows. Now, I don't know if this one does or not since Justin did that video. Yeah, we're going to pop over. We're going to just show this the page. But this is the can cat non-monocular telescope if i can pronounce stuff today and we're gonna come over and show the page this can actually be used as a regular tell yeah push pins definitely would not work with the wood yeah not with the woman but with that one it would this does have a ten dollar couple coupon this could be used as just a regular telescope or with your phone now you guys can connect your phone up to these it'll actually help zoom out you can videotape it which is really cool it does come with the tripod it is ipx7 waterproof just make sure your phone is water resistant if you're using your phone out in the water now a couple of cool things is, is it has the adapters for the the back of your screens just make sure you line it up properly and stuff like that but this has what they call i believe their smc uh transparency uh or transmittance uh, lens which is like I uh, can't remember how it's explained let's see if I can find it here 
Now, it's a waterproof anti-dioxide style lens, transmittance of 99.5. So it's just a coloration. The ED lens actually helps pick up the colors and all of that. Now, I use this in the video, and I'm going to jump through the video a James little. here. And kind of oh, show you guys that in action clamp, with the phone. This is kind of cool. There. That is actually cool. But it Addition. takes a little bit to adjust. adjust just remember, guys, you will need to adjust this properly. Tighten that. Make Unlike sure me, nice where tight. I kept messing it. Then put this oh. on. Pull the camera back up. Yeah, it's yeah, cool because you can use it with your phone. You don't actually have to use it with your hand, but you can. So if you want to take it out in the truck and let's say you're spotting for like so uh, it will take hunting some season, use to get an adjustment, you can use right? it for that. So I or you can use it with your phone just to like take I'll pictures of birds nice and stuff. And I will kind of skip for a little more. Well, this is where you guys will see it. You literally see can there. see I'm picking up the tree from outside my window. It's actually kind of hard to now, see. Now I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer so you guys can see. I'll zoom That's you guys in and show you guys right? this. And now Bring the cool thing in. is, is I can even zoom in farther zoom with my phone. So Just with like your that. phone zoom, you get even more distance of so, telephication. You guys see the screen that I see. Now if we move this. Try to pick up the pole in the, the house. Telephone I mean, pole on the house that's next actually door. really clear. That's cool. This is the Can non monocular telescope, guys. This is a 12 by kind of really cool product. Just a quick little showcasing of it. And we have a couple more products, so make sure to enter the giveaways, guys. Now we're moving over to the Pelios uh, 60 inch fan. I cannot pronounce that fan, and I'm not going to try. This is the Polanis oscillating fan. There you go. So I've gone ahead and pulled Polanis. it out of the corner so we can take a look at all of the angles. It is set up in my den because that's the hottest room in my house. It made the most sense to try a fan out in because I figured if this fan can cool this room, this fan can do anything. So we'll get a good look here. It's got a nice sturdy base on it and it's got the remote controller on the actual fan. It is a three blade fan. Um, I had no trouble setting this up. The only thing that I needed, I did need a screwdriver for the one screw that goes into the back of the fan itself. Everything else was already ready to go in the box. And the instructions were super clear, easy to follow. They had pictures for me to look at. So it was super quick for me to set this up. Pictures. It only took me about five I to like 10 pictures. minutes. And most of the time it's was the way just stuff going together. through my screwdriver. I don't read instructions. So we're first gonna take a look at my favorite thing about this fan. It comes kidding. with a remote, which is super nice if you wanna turn your fan on or off without getting up like I do because I'm very lazy. <laughs> so the remote has a function to turn your fan on or off, obviously. This turns the fan up or down if you want it blowing more air versus less. And then this has a little timer on it. So if you're like me and you like to have your fan on while you sleep, the timer is a nice function because then you don't have to leave it running all night, um, <laughs> sucking up all the electricity you know. and all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot here. So we're going to point it directly nope. at it. I used it for my S21 oh, one more Samsung. Thing. The remote did It'll need work with two any AAA phone. batteries. So I did have to supply those it on my own. Literally, it it's didn't got a clamp it, so that sets onto it. You will need batteries. Then you adjust to it to where your lens is. The then you connect it onto the telescope. necessary because it does come with the remote on the actual fan itself. The remote is just more of a luxury. <laughs> so this is the first or setting. Or you can use it without a phone. See, you don't it need, is it very really strong. Don't need I was very impressed with the power of this fan. So we'll go ahead and we will turn it up to the second setting. So kind of a medium speed here. And let's take it all the way up. This is incredibly powerful and this blew everything off of my desk. <laughs> so this has been super nice because it's been so hot and humid where I live lately. It's been very nice to have a fan like this, especially while I'm doing work uh, because it keeps me nice and cool. I have a fan and going, I am distracted open. from the heat, therefore I, I can it. focus on the work that I am doing. So we'll go ahead and turn of course this off I use a quick, fan all year, I'll show you how the winter. oscillation works. Oops, you gotta aim it at the actual base there. That's how remotes work. <laughs> so now this little button back here is what starts and stops the oscill uh, oscillation. Excuse me. So I have it pulled up because I had it fixed, but I will go ahead and press it down and that's going to start the oscillation. So we'll go down here and we'll take a look at the remote. So I'm just going to turn it on or off here and it is a little high, so I am gonna turn it down because I do not want to blow all of my papers off my desk again. And we'll go ahead and we'll set it for, let's say an hour. That way, once I leave this room, it will turn off. And there we go. 
The oscillation is super nice because now this cools your whole entire room. And if you've got multiple people over and you're trying to cool everybody down, this is really, really nice not to have it pointing one direction. I have been very impressed with this fan. It has kept me nice and cool in these humid days. So I am giving this two thumbs up. Would recommend to my friends. So that is the oscillating fan, guys. A nice little option if you need an oscillating fan. Of course, it is that time of year, so you'll be seeing fans from us, including this one. And I'll kind of show you guys this real quick. This is a new product coming up, guys. This is actually a foldable, rechargeable fan that can actually go into a large base, which is really cool. So this thing is going to be fun to do. Uh, very cool that it actually folds down into a pod. You can use it as a tabletop or you can use it as a full ground standing fan. That time of the year that we're going to be doing products like that. Now we're going to move over to the MC Cook knife set. Now I'm not sure who did this video. I'm going to say Mrs. Dragon Blogger. Dragon Blogger is here. Today yep. we're reviewing this right. set of German Forge stainless steel knife sets. This is made by Mick Cook, and you get 15 pieces total. They also include a bonus pair of shears. Each one comes with its separate tip guard. I had no problem, buddy. It doesn't get damaged in shipping, and it's easy to take out of the box without hurting yourself. I'm going to tell you what we get in this set. You are going to receive an 8 inch chef's knife, which is your classic. Six inch. An 8 inch slicing knife, oh, eight. which is another required if you're a chef or home cook. This is your Santuku knife, and this is 5 inches. Hey buddy, how you this doing, man? This is your five-inch utility knife. This is your 5.5 sear rated utility knife. Or bread knife. And your 3.5 carry. Carry knife. Nice. You also have six 4.5 inch steak knives, which are very nice because they are slightly serrated on the end and will have no problem cutting. I need new steak knives. Beef, chicken, I think I'm down to two. It also comes with a large pair of shears. It also features a knife sharpener. Yeah, a knife right sharpener. Here on the block. These are high carbon German stainless steel with the proper thickness for performance. So if you're an aspiring chef, this is a good set to get you going. The construction is um, heat tempered for strength and durability. So these should last you for hey, quite a while. Hey, you also have a bolster, which it's properly weighted so it can hold all these knives. It won't tip over. It won't tip over when- I just me right now sharpener. and all the fans in chat. The hey, we got fans. Hey, the biggest fan's right steel. behind me. <laughs> for easy, comfortable grips and easy to care for and wash. If you're looking for a great German Forge stainless steel cutlery set, I highly recommend the McCook cutlery set. Again, it comes with a sturdy storage block. It also comes with your knife sharpener built in. And they do include a bonus pair of shears. That's kind of cool. Two pairs see, of shears. shears. So if you I have kids that always steal your scissors, I'm show there's you an how extra pair. These are. <laughs> By slicing an apple, you're going to see that it doesn't take much to go right through. Very easy. Very soft. No resistance whatsoever. And creates nice slices. That is the knife set, guys. Now we're going to be moving over to our product page. This is a Yosudo, or Yosudo, uh, bike. If you guys have known Justin, he's actually done 
quite a few videos on the one he's got. Now, he wanted me to show you guys this one today because it is on deal. But the difference between the one he has and this one is it is actually a magnetic resistant exercise bike. So it has a magnetic resistance in it. This is capable of a person up to 350 pounds, which is actually really cool. So if you weigh a little more, it will actually hold you. It does show it has a smooth belt drive. It does have the 100 micron adjustable magnetic resistance, which means you just push it to 360 degrees, anywhere from zero to 100%, and it will adjust it up. Now, you know, zero to 25%, they call it a warm up. Zero, 25 to 50 is a cardio workout. 50 to 75 is an important, uh, improve endurance. And 75 to 100 is stabilizing muscle. Now, this is 35 inches by 27 inches and 40 pounds of weight. Now, again, these have the wheels so you can actually move it around if you need to. It has the front wheels just like the one Justin does. It has the tablet holder. It has the phone holder. It has the drink holder, guys, and then the big seat. Now, as you guys know, Justin actually changed his pedals out and is seating to a new set. But if you guys are looking for like an indoor cycle, this is actually a great option. And actually decently priced. Justin uses his all the time, which is just crazy. Now, they do show it will hold a tablet up to 11 inches, which pretty much any I iPad will actually hold that. So not bad. Now, the height adjustment can go all the way up to 42 inches high if you need. The seat can go all the way up to 27 inches. Any questions? If not, we will talk about the last product. Now, the last product is, of course, the GT Racing Gaming Chair. If you guys are needing a gaming chair, this might be an option for you. Hey, everyone. Jason Weiler here. And today oh, Jason did this video. GT Racing Computer uh -huh. Gaming Chair. Uh, this is actually now, of course, guys, this is the last awesome video and last product, and I will be doing a $5 gift card giveaway, so make sure you are entered to win. One out that fits perfectly for your setup. So a couple different things when we are taking a look at a computer chair. Uh, first of all, one of the things you definitely take a look at, consider, is the pricing itself. It's For silly. most of these chairs, <laughs> you're going to be looking at above uh, 100 depending on the color, the model. Uh, anybody's the eligible, chair. just enter the giveaway. On the I'll website, post the links right here. Amazon. So it will be the gift card. As far as this, all you gotta do is enter the first link. Uh, then I will draw, and if you are picked, we will contact you. Features, and one of the features you'll see right up here is got the headrest to be able to support you, as well as a lumbar support to make it more comfortable for those longer working gaming sessions, which is pretty cool. One of my favorite features is actually the ability that it has to recline which you'll see right over yes here. i love my reclining chair i can recline, sleep in it it'll go from i don't but i could 90 degrees as far as uh, yeah a lot of the chairs nowadays will actually recline back a uh, pretty good amount position and of course uh my chair is actually made for like uh, big people so it can hold up to i believe 500 pound person and it actually can recline back and hold that person so is something just make sure that, that the chair you guys pick out can hold your weight, your size, your height, dimensions. That you um, I prefer that just a really big chair just because I like a big chair. Get it. So I don't like a uh, racing style bucket style seat like it because it's just to begin with. not my thing. I like so to sit cross-legged in my computer chair. So like right now, I have my feet up in my chair sitting cross-legged. Box itself. Uh, if you have the racing the bucket style seats, you can't do that. But they're a great and chair. It takes Don't get me wrong. Approximately, you I've can had do plenty it of them. About 45 minutes, uh, give or take. Oh, some. 45 but minutes? Generally speaking, you can definitely get it done in under an hour. You do not need it. Do it under 20 tools, if you built enough of them. The Trust items me. are provided for you inside the box. Wow, that thing was actually completely apart. Other I've never had a chair come with down. all that apart. So then this way you can kind of see it is supported pretty well. And you are able to adjust it up and down for your height. You are able to wheel around. The arm and the cat. Are You'll love it. Adjustable. Cat's playing with all the stuff while he's trying to build it. Get more comfortable. Overall, definitely really like this chair. 
very cool, very fun to put together, and very excellent to... So that's the GT Racing, guys, if you need it. It's also very easy to wipe these chairs down and clean them, so just a damp cloth will wipe it down, clean it, and you're good to go. Since that is the last product, we're going to pop over to this scene, and hopefully you guys are all entered to win, and we will actually... Cats love the packing, yeah. Of course they do. If you guys are in it, we'll actually do this giveaway and give a gift card away. It's good to be back and streaming, even though I know I was here the other night. <laughs> so, uh, Costi, let me know if you are entered and ready to win. Click this while I do that, and then I'm going to grab the other page. While I'm doing this, guys, I'm going to actually grab Gleam. Make sure you guys are all golden to enter. Twenty-two people, hundred twenty-three inches. All right, make sure. Now I know better, make that valid. Do, 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 do. One sec, guys. Sometimes some people's entries, and I don't do this all the time, but I've been noticing they're valid. Everybody's golden now. So let's do this. Let's pick. Let's draw. Who's going to be the winner? Is it going to be me? Is the leak finally fixed? No, I'll talk about that in a second. Drawing our winner. Our winner is Allie. Allie, you are a winner. I know you're here. I just saw you. So congratulations. Allie, uh, Justin will contact you a little later with the gift card. He is at work right now. So. Congrats. Let's do this. Let's close that out. Now, since you asked, Phil, uh, let's take you on a little adventure today. And Is my leak fixed? <laughs> what? I don't know. Is it? Uh, over here. Come on. Come here. Back over to me. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, actually, no, no, no. We're, so, we'll talk about it. Uh, let's fix the camera first. So, the actual leak part, we figured out what the leak is. So that's good. They're bringing in a contractor to actually fix it. We actually made a piece that's actually having the water drip outside my house. So I don't have water dripping in my house no more. I do have a hole, of course. Uh, so, you know, that is a slight a problem. You know, a lot of echo. Why is there echo, echo, echo? Yeah, that, and so the water, I'm not really worried about the water getting towards my computer they uh, figured it out. We set that up and they actually reached out to a contractor. The problem is, is we have to wait for a contractor to have availability to come in and actually fix the issue that at hand. So there's no point to replacing the inside of my ceiling until the actual part that's broke is fixed. But, you know, improvement is improvement. Steps are steps. Uh, you know, at least stuff's being figured out and done. I, I'm happy. I mean, you know, wife's not too happy, but not going to complain. Now, of course, you know, if you noticed, it's actually sunny out. So there hasn't been rain in a few days. So I don't know how well this device we made will actually work once it really pours. But we will cross that bridge when we cross that bridge, right? Uh, hopefully it's finished within the next 30 days because I have family coming in. 
to stay with me for a couple weeks. So on the 20th is my last day around here for like two weeks. I will be gone for like 14 days. Yeah, no more rain. Um, I believe it's supposed to rain Monday. <laughs> Let's check. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday rain, right? So cancel that next turn check. Nah, I, nah, I'll pay my rent. There, they, dude. If they weren't actually in here doing stuff, I would, I, I definitely would cancel it. But they have been trying to figure it out. And since we were in winter, it was a lot of, you couldn't really get in there during winter to do anything with all the ice and snow on the roof. But they do have the contractor coming. He's going to actually replace the upper part of the ceiling on the outside. And then they're bringing a roofer in in like a couple months to redo the whole roof. So come, you know, come Monday, we'll find out if it leaks. Everybody, I appreciate everybody being here. Of course, we're rooting for you. As sooner or later, hey, I, at least I'm still streaming. I'm still working. You know, that's all I can say. Works better than no work. Again, guys, thank you, for everybody, for being here. I, I'm going to go and try to do a whole bunch of videos for everybody since I have, like, 20 products laying here today. And then I'm going to go eat lunch. Happily, you guys have a great day. I will see everybody tomorrow, of course. Same stream, same bat channel. And uh, Nikita, I believe, is on tonight also. So have a good one, guys. Stay safe. Stay uh, fresh and warm. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>